This is the guts of an iClicker one. It's a um, student response type thingamajig contrivance. It's basically just a thingamajig with a bunch of buttons, one of which is on off, soft power on off, of course, and uh, three but and uh, five buttons uh, A through E, and basically by which whichever one of these you push dictates your answer. There's a couple of idiot lights, a blue power LED, red one for low battery, and a red green dual color one, depending on whether or not, or what they call a vote, has counted or not. And, um, but anyways, that's the bit that most of you who've ever used one of these have seen. This is the bit that you haven't. This is the inside of it, and fairly simple, despite a bunch of passives, that's kind of to be expected. <coughs> There's an Atmel, um, Atmega 8A4U microcontroller to it controlling the whole thing. It'll mark right there, it's just to indicate that it's been a programmed device. And a bunch of passives and various power transistors. Or, no, no, well, just. Actually, I think some of them are diodes, some are transistors. Um, that guy, uh,. Guessing probably an operational amplifier or something. Um, unpopulated uh, something or other right there that's or J7 that's probably um, a programming header or something for the micro. Uh, crystal for it, uh, covered over in this kind of a waxy stuff. I guess that's just for um, impedance control, just to prevent things like condensation from throwing out the operating frequency couple of uh, local fiducials for <coughs> the machine vision system in the uh, pick and place machine again that's just fairly normal stuff test point for a bed of nails tester or something two battery contacts and this bit it's the RF section and again a bunch of passives a um, this chip which is just going to be um, uh, RF um, comms uh, transmitter chip um, nothing really fancy there. It's a, a part number. Don't work it as a chip maker, but it's a um, XE1203F1063 week 42 or 2010, but that's just a uh, QFN, I think. This looks to be just a two layer board, so wouldn't be probably, it's probably not something like a some, because there's some chips that look like QFNs, but they're actually pseudo LGAs or even LGAs. Um, a, a crystal for it, mark 39A000. See, maybe 39 megacycle. Uh, no loading caps on it, which is somewhat interesting. But obviously, this uh, this looks to operate in probably the uh, couple of giga, probably not a couple of gigacycle, but high 100 megacycle bandwidth. I guess probably around 800 and 900 megacycle. Because I, th I think there's a, a ban for stuff like this at 950 megacycles, but I, that's just something I just off the top of my head. And uh, that's, of course, obviously going to be PLL'd up in the uh, chip. Or something. And, uh, again, mostly passives. There's that chip right there. That 6-pin uh, uh, SOT23 right there. That, I'm guessing, is probably... Judging by the stuff connecting it to the antenna, that is going to be a um, probably just a um, a uh, RF finals and um, that's pretty much the thing. Uh, and on the other side of the board, it's just a couple of um, uh, they're, they're the uh, metal dome type switches where there's just a metal dome mounted on the printed circuit board that just contacts a couple of um, contacts on the PCB. It's kind of Fairly similar to a rubber membrane thing. A couple of uh, surface mount LEDs. <coughs> and a, uh, I think it was a 1206 or 1210 uh, package cap. Right in that area. Um, yeah, I think that's a 1206. Might be 805, and then there's that. A 113. That's probably maybe a, a test feature. Whole Spring Publishers LLC 2006. And, oh, these are actually proper PCB. Oh no, those are actually um, PCB mount switches. Those aren't the things that just look like it. And those are the three LEDs. Um, 
the one of course being by color for the vote state status and uh, 107 E002 that's probably just a um, board art delineator which is why it's etched in the copper and the other one was for the silk screen and there's just a uh, antenna right there and these sticky notes are just to cover over the um, ID serial number because that's just so that this thing can't be tracked so yeah it's a thing